Okay, so we're in Fort Myers. It's uh, November 2nd, 2017. We have a great patient from Tampa area who went to a very well-respected uh, surgeon for cataract surgery. And subsequent to the cataract surgery, you had this big mass in your field of vision. Correct. And what did it take for them to diagnose that? How long did it take? I went to, I went to several visits and the doctor said, well, they'll sink. The, the floaters will sink. He says, give it six months. So six months I went back and he looked at it and he said, well, I guess they're not going to sink. So I said to him, do I have to put up with them then for the rest of my life? And he says, no. He said, I can drain your eye and then fill it with saline. And then he gave me the, the literature and all the antibiotic drops and all the other things and the dangers that went with it. And I really didn't want to do that. Yeah. And I went online and I found out that there are three doctors that do it with the laser, that take the floaters out with the laser. Fortunately, Dr. Geller is in the state of Florida, not in California or wherever. So I came down and he did the first treatment. I had a big blob that was hanging from the top. And he cut the strings the first time. Second time, he zapped the blob to, to smithereens. And this third time, and this is going to be the last time, he just cleaned up what was left. And it was wonderful. Yeah, My and vision was just, it was just so clear. Everything was so bright. And it was, it's been a long time since I've seen this well. And, and, and there's nobody happier besides you than me. I always like doing <laughs> this. I have tremendous experience, probably more than anybody in the U.S. Maybe the world, I don't know. But uh, I've been doing this a long time. You have to know what to do. You have to have the right kind of laser. I've got the ultimate laser right there. It's the big monster Lazog laser from Switzerland. And uh, it does the job. It does the job. And you're a great patient. I can't wait to send a letter to uh, Dr. W, a well-known and respected surgeon. And he did a very nice job. Uh, you can't blame him for the floater. But that does have to happen after implant surgery. I'd say more often than a lot of doctors suspect because there's more room for the vitreous gel to move around and stuff that was in the periphery becomes more central and problematic. But we got it. That's we what did. counts. You're a great patient. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.